What do we say? Oh, it's starting now. <laughs> I'll edit that out. <laughs> We're back. We're back. We're back cooking and uh, listening to the music of the plants. Well, not quite yet, but you will well, soon. Well, yeah, soon, soon. <laughs> <laughs> and in our pajamas. Yes, we are in our pajamas. <laughs> Two girls in their pajamas. <laughs> Stand by. Yes. Ready for cooking. And oh. we're making dessert. Oh, yeah. We're actually going to be making dessert tonight. So it's um, it's Saturday night here in um, Australia. If you're watching from elsewhere, Coolangatta. Yes, Coolangatta. Queensland. Queensland. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's very important to mention. Um, so yes, um, it's Saturday night, and we're um, having a night in, um, and we're going to be making a delicious dessert. Yeah. Stay tuned, we'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and uh, Irina is just washing the organic apples and I've set the midi sprout device up. You can see the pretty colours to this organic apple. So what you can hear right now is the music of the apples. Very pretty sound. It's very happy. Seems to be very happy. It is a very pretty sound. It is. It's sort of like Japanese or. Yeah. But like very um, gentle and soft. Yeah. I kind of expected something a little bit more. Um, Robust? Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> We've never heard an apple Tell being played apples, before. Sabrina. So the um, organic gala apples. Um, so I'm cutting them into a really small pieces, which I'll then uh, quickly cook or um, you know fry with um, some sugar and maple syrup. Yeah. Um, I haven't peeled them, so I'm leaving the peel on. Good idea. But yeah, if um, if if you whoever's watching would prefer um, to peel the apple, or that's the way you usually um, cook um, apple for your desserts, um, feel free to peel it. There's no really rule if like you have to or don't have to. But there's a lot of nutrients in the skin. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're going to eat nutrients tonight. Yes. So it will be um, apple and raspberry. We'll uh, cook it in a little bit of um, sugary sauce with maple syrup. Um, and then we'll make uh, a little uh, pastry baskets. Nice. To and fill them with the, um, with the apple and uh, raspberry filling. And then, of course, you um, bake it quickly. And hazelnuts. And hazelnuts as well, yeah. And have a look at the colour of those beautiful raspberries. And raspberries and apples are like a match yeah. made in heaven, aren't they? Oh, look, yes. It's matching the raspberries. Mm. They're colour coordinated. Oh, very nice. Isn't it? Okay, and now our music is still playing over here. This is, we're in my place today, tonight. The last video we were in Irena's, so we're, we're getting around yep. the traps. So we've got mm -hmm. the syrup going. Mm -hmm. So I just melted uh, brown sugar with mm -hmm. just a little bit of water. <clears throat> so you really do it to, um, to taste. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you want it um, sweeter, have more sugar. Um, so you just um, bring it to a boil. I've added a splash of maple syrup. Once and again, so I'm combining the um, taste and the sweetness between the brown sugar and um, and maple syrup. And it's it's um, real maple syrup. It's not yes. the artificial. No, no, it's yeah, a pure no, yes. Canadian. Yeah. So the other stuff is full of garbage, isn't it? Yeah. It's artificial, totally artificial. Yeah, and it, uh, sometimes it can have um, sugar more than actual maple syrup. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we'll. Oh, add I can smell it, it's sort of almost caramelizing. Yes. 
So that's gonna make that uh, sweet sauce from brown sugar and maple syrup. How much brown sugar would you say you put in? I'll uh, probably put approximately four tablespoons, I'd say. Yeah, a bit of a splash, like a good splash. So you don't want to make it, um, you don't want to make too much liquid, so you'd rather um, let your fruit soak nicely, yeah. um, but without, um, you know, much, or without too much liquid. And at what point are you going to put the raspberries in? It's Probably towards the end. When they're softer. Yeah, yeah. So you cook apples a little bit longer. I don't know, maybe five minutes. And the reason we're using apples is because they're in season at the moment. Yeah. And it's always good to use what's in season. Okay, so this has been on for, what, about three minutes? Yeah, about three minutes. Three minutes. Just so we'll go a little bit longer. Yeah. They're starting to soften, mm. but uh, I can tell. But then before long too, it's going to go a bit sticky too. There's all that caramel yeah. sensation, which yeah. is yummy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're adding raspberries. Um, look at the colour, and it's in a red frying too. Oh, oh yes, okay. everything is matching. Yeah, and I've got a red tangerine in the background. Oh, and a red stick thing. Oh, <laughs> I've got red cherries on my... Yeah, I was going to say, Ooh. you definitely have red uh, on your robe. Oh, that looks so like colourful and amazing. Alright, oh, so yeah. we'll probably leave it a couple more minutes. Okay. Get those uh, raspberries soak in the syrup, and you can really use whatever fruit, really. Yeah. yeah. All right. I think we're done now. All right. So now, believe it or not, I've got the hazelnut in there. <laughs> what are we getting with the hazelnut? Oh, different sound altogether. It's quite, it's quite bassy, isn't it? It's got a little bit of Base happening. One little, can't see because the light's not really good here. Hazelnuts sitting in there. Music of the hazelnuts. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. That's, um, very mysterious sounding. Yeah, very. So, look, what cooking show can you view that plays a Music of the fruit, music of the nuts, music of the herbs, no other. It's just uh, only available with us, the two girls from Oz in their pyjamas. Yep. And over here, while well, that nut is going up, we've already brushed some of these nuts and we've yep. got what? So we've got the filling ready. Yep. And I'm just um, preparing the tray. I'll get the Pastry sheet out. That's a very interesting sound. It's a very interesting sound. See, everything has a frequency and a vibration. There is no denying. And now we're back on the, the apple. It's a little more melodious than the other one. And we're going to check what's going on over here. What have we got here, Irene? Well, we've got the pastry sheet. So we've got the vegan pastry sheet. So dairy-free, um, shortcut pastry. This is a tricky bit. And we've let that thaw out slightly. I did hear somewhere that if you let it thaw out, it's good. Right, so I think we'll probably need the two. Mm -hmm. Maybe even more. We should have um, invited people over for this. Oh, <laughs> I know. I 
next one we'll do it. It'll be like a um, a Jamie Oliver meets my kitchen walls. Yep. Yeah. Alright, yes. we'll go for two or with two for now. The assembly uh, happens. Can I um, also have a spoon? A spoon, yes. What size would you like? Can I just a tablespoon? One of these. Yep. Beautiful. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now um, cut the pastry in four pieces. So four squares. Approximately. Two a little bigger than the other two. Alright, and I'll place them on the tray. And we'll then make a little basket. So you just scoop your uh, fruit with the syrup. Just place it in the middle. Once again, just approximately. And then you kind of fold the edges. That's it. And just make little baskets. A little basket. Yeah. Then you take your crushed hazelnuts, mm. sprinkle on top. Okay. And you go to the next one. bit bigger so it can handle more fruit so really any sort of a shape be creative just as long as it kind of um, holds the filling that's the main thing yeah. oh that's a different shape altogether. isn't it wow look at that <laughs> Yay. and then again just sprinkle nuts yeah. on top. And that one's like a little bow. Yeah. Oh, I like this one. It's like a little geometric something. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to hoe into this shortly. Alright, so we're going to try and make the same as one that Deb liked. Yeah, it's got like little ears on it or something. Yep. Listening to the beautiful sound of the apple over in the corner there. There you go. That's it. Another ruse on there. Alright, we can probably do little ears on this one too. Well, I've got four squares to start with. I think we'll probably have enough filling for two more. Okay. Well, might as well. So we can have some for breakfast oh, with our good coffee. Way. Yeah, that'll be the way to go. We're, and we we sit on the um, on the balcony and imagine that we're somewhere exotic in Europe. Yes. Having a French pastry. Yeah, I was just about to say. Yeah. We'll just imagine that we're in Paris. I mean, not that we're not enjoying where we live, but it's always good we to love dream. Yeah. <laughs> They're just like little sleeping bags. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this can go in the oven. And now, for how long and what temperature? Thought it, the oven's preheating, by the way. So okay. So what do we have now? 180. No, it's full bore, so we're going to drop it down to 180. Yeah, I think um, uh, 180. Um, so, okay. So because um, there's a, a plenty of um, syrup, so you can um, sprinkle some 
over the pastry and then um, it, it becomes um, a little sticky and you've got mm. that um, the taste of the um, syrup um, now with the flavor of the fruits as well um, you actually have it mm. all over your um, yeah. your pastry and your little basket nice and pop it in the oven Mm -hmm. Okay, you little babies, <laughs> you cook away, and Sir Apple is still singing for us. Can you believe that? Organic Apple. Life, life, dance to the music within you. That's exactly what the apple is doing. <laughs> I think I'm going to take them out. We're in the oven. We've been about what 25 minutes? Yeah, approximately 25 minutes. So it will obviously depend on of the oven. There's a bit of a sauce underneath. Oh, are we having two? Well, no. you don't have to, but I'm just putting it two oh. on, <laughs> on each plate. Oh my you can have two. We're not having two, I couldn't eat two. All right. I need more Sir, we'll now um, sprinkle icing sugar. So it's a, uh, it's quite sugary dessert. <laughs> Very, I'm having a sugar yeah. hit. Can I have it over here? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll still have a couple more to make, but let's just do the sugar for this lot. Whoa, look at that. Fairy dust. There wow, we go. Wow, look at that. Looking good? Looking good. Oh, look. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, are you going to top that with yogurt or? Um, but we can. We do have some coconut yogurt. Um, is that you can how top you would it with eat cream. it? Um, I usually just eat them like yeah, this. Yeah, I think so. Um, but yeah, you can top it with yogurt, with cream, with um, chocolate. Get creative. What can I say? Fresh out of oh the oven. I can smell it. It's so good. Hopefully it's not too hot. <laughs> Go for it. Good. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> That's had, really I good. Had, I had that up close and personal. Mm. Alright, here goes. I think I'm gonna have two. <laughs> I'm going to try mine. The unelegant. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. <laughs> a very, a very good review and feedback. <laughs> and I, um, well, I'm dropping it everywhere. I think that. Tomorrow morning when we have them, I might have a bit of yoga on it, but right now, I'm happy a la natural. Oh. Okay, we're signing off. <laughs> this is the apple still going, 40 minutes on. It's having its own party, very happily singing away. Dance to the music within you, that's exactly what the apple is doing. <laughs> <laughs>